I don't need to hate a guy to go out there and, and try to kill him, yeah. you know? And I do love that about my mentality. It works well for me. But I think a win over Tony Ferguson does put me in that talk, and I'm, I'll be ready. If Conor wants to come back in July, August, I'll, I'll turn around right away. That's and what he's saying, fight him right? This, summer? Fight him late, late this summer. I think, uh, you know, I think Diaz really is the, is the wild card. Did yeah. he re-sign a new deal yet? I, I don't know. I, There's I haven't, no news on it, right? I, don't, I haven't heard any news yet either. So I think he's kind of the wild card. Obviously, you have Poirier and, and Diaz talking to each other. Um, which makes sense to me. Which, yeah, that fight does make sense. But I, obviously, the, I think the biggest fight that the UFC can make is Conor versus Diaz, right? Yeah. That, you know? Those two aren't le- – like, Nate Diaz is never going to be able to leave the UFC without mm-hmm. doing the trilogy fight. And that's, that's – that's, al- But I, to me, like, I think the UFC knows that fight's always there. So they're trying to drain as much – Yeah. Out of the Irish man as they can, and then finally go. All right, here's here's the trilogy fight because we, we all want to see it. Yeah, and and if anybody could come right back and skip the line and fight for the title, it would be Connor, obviously. That's you how know? it works. Um, but like you said, I, I don't see that happening. Um, so am I on that short list of guys that he would come back and fight? 100%. Maybe. And for me, obviously, yeah. You talk about life changing money. You talk about it's a great business decision. But for me. I think I spent so many years outside of the UFC feeling like I was under, I was just undervalued or I was under, I don't want to say appreciated because I by felt the appreciated. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. yeah, by the fans, just because there wasn't as much of an, as as much of a, a multitude of eyeballs on me. You know, I was putting on these performances and I was training. I mean, the hardest part too was training around all these guys who were getting all this credit and getting all this in the UFC yeah because they were in the UFC and I and I saw the way that they lived their lives I saw the way that they trained I saw the way that they they conducted themselves as a as an athlete and I was just I saw the way that I did it and I thought it was I'm by no means perfect but I was as professional as you could possibly be yeah and and I just and I just felt and I felt like now coming into the UFC I want the biggest fights and that doesn't come without saying yes I said yes to every opportunity obviously so the Connor fight intrigues me because it's it's a big, big, big fight. You know, there's there's nothing bigger than that. So of course, the money is great and the, the you know the paycheck and the business side of things. But for me, getting to share the octagon with him as part of my you know latter part of my career, that's that's what is that's what excites me. Agreed. You know.